Hey guys, it's Richard with Rich Made Knives, and I got a uh, non-knife video for you. This one is a video showing how to remove the microphone from the Wisecam version 3. Um, version 2, there are plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to remove the microphone on version 2. Uh, I have not been able to find a microphone, a, a video on how to remove the microphone from the version 3 Wisecam. So um, since I've already figured out how to do that, I thought I would shoot a video and show you guys how to do it. Um, why would you want to remove the, the um, microphone from the camera? Well, if you're mounting the camera inside and you uh, do not want any ability for anyone to be able to listen to um, conversations or noises inside your home, you do not want a microphone. Well, WISE has currently, as of early 2021, there is no way to disable the microphone uh, in the software. And even if there was, I don't trust the software that it can't be hacked anyway. So I want the microphone to be physically deleted or removed uh, from the hardware. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. What are you gonna need to do this? Well, I have, you don't have to exactly what I have, but you should have something similar. Got a little tiny Victorinox pocket knife here. I have got a Phillips screwdriver, the kind that you get with a little eyeglass kit. And this is the size of this is important because you need a very thin diameter um, screwdriver in order for this to work. Um, I would recommend that you have some sort of a dental tool, but not, necess not absolutely necessary, but this is a little dental tool. And then I have a pair of needle nose and I have a heat gun uh, here. You do not need a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer and you don't even need a hair dryer or a heat gun. You can just, um, you can just use, uh, you don't need either one, but it makes the glue, getting the glue disconnected, getting the glue removed a little easier with a heat gun, okay? I've got my heat gun set at about 300, at about 300 degrees, um, but you can use a hair dryer too. Okay, let's get going. Uh, let's open up this as a brand new camera, um, brand new version three cam. Keep in mind that you are gonna avoid the warranty for sure on your camera. And you are also going to probably impact the water resistance a little bit. Uh, but if you're doing this, you're probably mounting the camera inside anyway. And so you probably don't care about it being waterproof. I know I don't. Okay. Uh, by the way, these versions, well, I'll talk a little bit while I'm taking this, the, opening this thing up. The version three cameras are really, really nice. I'm very impressed compared to the version two. The version threes are great. Okay. Here we go. We got a brand new Wisecam version three. Uh, the kind that has the fixed cord on the back um, with the little movable, st adjustable stand there. Okay. Brand new. Again, voiding your warranty and potentially impacting your um, water resistance and um, maybe even slightly messing up the cosmetics of the front of the camera just a bit, depending on how careful you want to be. Um, but again, this is intended primarily for you guys who are mounting the cameras inside and do not want a microphone. If you are mounting your camera outside, I don't know why you would care about the microphone because all anyone would ever hear would be outside noises anyway. So here we go. First things first is we have to remove this beauty ring around the edge of the uh, front right here. Where my finger is right here, this is just a little beauty ring that is held on with glue, um, a little bit of double-sided glue tape, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this ring up with this glue gun right here, with the heat gun, sorry. Um, we're going to heat this ring up, and then we're going to take this um, beauty ring off, okay? So here I go. I'm going to turn this on. It'll be a little loud. I'm going to test it, make sure it's not crazy hot, turn it down a little bit, probably 200 degrees is probably pretty good. I'm going to turn it down to like 200, I don't want to melt anything, 
minimum temperature on my heat gun. Okay, so now, get this stuff out of the way. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the edge of the face here on this, on this, just heating up the ring a little bit. You don't need to get too crazy with it. Keep it moving too. You don't wanna melt the plastic. That's about all you need. Now, while it's still a little warm, take your pocket knife and you wanna go just right in the edge here of where the beauty ring meets the body. Okay, you can, you can fit your knife in the edge right there, just like that. Okay, now pull it out to where it's just underneath the beauty ring, like that. Okay, you can see there I got it just under the beauty ring. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work it all the way around until I get a little bit of an edge lifting up like that. Now I can just use my finger to gently... Pull. Okay, um... Now that I've got this pulled up a little bit, I'm just gonna work my finger around the edge and um, I can lift this beauty ring right out. Okay. And again, you don't need a heat gun. You don't need um, even a hair dryer. You can do this dry, but it just, it just makes it a little bit easier to get the ring off and the glue, make the glue be reusable um, if you do. So there we go, the ring is off. And what you'll notice is that there is a a little a little there, the glue for this ring is still is still on the plastic. Okay, so I still got a ring of glue around there that I'm going to reuse when I go to reapply this. Okay, so there we go. That's what it looks like without the beauty ring on the front. That's just glued on. Okay, next thing is you're going to see three white dots right here. Okay three white dots. These are just little rubber filler caps, little rubber caps that cover three Phillips screws, okay, Phillips screw heads. So we're going to start with, we're going to take this out. So I'm going to use your dental tool and you're just going to um, basically poke this little, poke this, uh, I'll get it on the camera here, poke this little ring, this little rubber cover, okay, you just need to poke it like that, and then it'll come out just like that. Okay, there you go. That's what it looks like. It's just a little tiny rubber cap. Okay, now that you've got that off, you've got a hole where the cap was covering, and that's where your Phillips screwdriver goes into. Okay. Now, this is where I was saying that you have to have a very thin diameter um, screwdriver because if you don't, it won't fit into that hole, which you can see how deep this screwdriver is. And then you'll be able to see here, I'll show you how far down it goes. It goes close to the bottom of the camera, down to probably like now maybe halfway down the camera. Okay, like that. And so now stick your, you stick your Phillips screwdriver in there and you take that screw out. Okay, so you just turn it counterclockwise and until it basically stops turning, then you wanna turn it over and a screw falls out. And that's what it looks like. Let me get it on the end of my finger here. You can see what the screw looks like. Oops. Maybe if I can stop it from rolling here. No, maybe not. I'll do it with the, I'll do it with the pliers so you guys can see it. Okay, I'm trying to show you the screw here. I'm not having much luck. There it is. You can see that. I don't know how to hold it against the white. Little Phillips screw. Okay, so now we do the same thing for the next one. This one here, uh, we pop that little white cap out. Okay. Rinse and repeat, cap is off. Take your um, Phillips screwdriver, take that screw out. Just keep turning until it doesn't wanna unturn anymore. And then just tap your, your camera to uh, get it to fall. It's, it's a little gripper screw, so they can be a little tricky to get out. Okay, we go to the third one. Take the cap out. And then take the last screw out.
Okay, all three screws are out. Now, the only thing that's, so this is now just sitting in the housing. It's the only thing really holding it is that there's a rubber gasket underneath here that kind of fit pressure fits in there. Um, so in order to get this out, all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, kind of like what I did to get the, the beauty ring out is I'm just going to go on the edge here and I'm just going to, I'm just going to pop this, um, pop the camera out along the edge here until it kind of wants to, um, wants to come up. And again, as I said, the only thing really holding it, just you just saw it pop there. The only thing holding it is this um, rubber gasket, this red, see this red gasket running all the way around? That's the only thing holding it in once you got those three screws taken out, okay? So now um, the, the, the electronics module is free of the body. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift it up, okay, like that. And um, you're gonna notice when you lift it up, you're gonna be looking at the bottom of the camera like this. And you're gonna be looking at the electronic section right here. You don't need to take this out. As a matter of fact, it's, it's attached down here. There's a wire here going to the back of this USB cable here. So you don't need to disconnect this wire. The one that you're after is this connection right here. This connection right here, that's the microphone connector. Okay, there's a little wire that goes from here and it goes to the microphone that's right here on the front. This one right here is what you're after. Okay, this little wire right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle nose and I'm gonna grab the little top of the wires here and I'm just gonna pull that out like, I, like that. Okay, so there we go. It's disconnected. There's the connector and there's the um, housing for the connector is right here on the main board. And I just disconnected the little speaker right there. That little connector right there, that's your speaker. So all you're gonna do is just tuck it back inside, leave it disconnected, tuck it back inside, and you're done. The microphone has now been disconnected. Okay, now we're going to reassemble the camera in reverse. So you take the module, the entire module, and press it back into the housing, okay? When you get it to the point where it's flush, you just give it a push. You'll hear it snap into place, okay? So now it's snapped back in and the rubber housings and everything, the rubber gasket snaps back in again. So now we're gonna put our screws back and there's a little trick you wanna use to do this. Put your screw on the end of the screwdriver like that. Take your camera and instead of turning your screwdriver upside down, turn your camera upside down and then put it into the hole and then tighten your screw. By the way, don't over tighten it. You just want it to be snug, okay? Now we do the next one. Put the screw on the screwdriver, take your camera, turn it upside down, put your screw back in. Okay, next and then the last one, same process. Put the screw back in again. Okay. And then now uh, we're gonna, you can choose whether or not you wanna put these little rubber covers back in. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to show you guys. If it's going inside and you know it's gonna be inside, you don't really need to put these back. So that's kind of a judgment call as to whether or not you want those to be back on your camera or not. But um, just to, to show you guys, I'll put them back in again. Okay, one's in. And they just, they just push fit into the hole. Okay, two. And three. Okay, I've got all three pushed back in. Okay, now we're gonna put the beauty ring back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give, I'm gonna heat the, this up really, really quickly. I don't wanna melt it, but I do wanna get that glue a little bit tacky on the back of this ring right here uh, before I just stick it back into its, uh, its place there. So I'm just gonna hit it with the glue, with the uh, heat gun real quick on low heat. Okay, 
way. Now, it just goes right back on the face. And just press it back in and you are complete. Give it a little bit of a wipe down so that we can get rid of the fingerprints. And there you go. We now have our WiseCam version 3 with a disconnected microphone. And if you listen to the microphone now with that disconnected, you're just going to hear static. I have tested this uh, with the microphone connected and disconnected and confirmed that that is the connection, and when it is disconnected, uh, you cannot hear anything anymore. So if you are uh, getting a Wisecam version 3 and you want to get rid of the microphone, that's how you do it. Talk to you guys later.